I feel like that's more of a foreign thing and not more, not necessarily a North American thing. I think they, that could have been something John Woo brought to the table, like sucking on the peaches. It's like, that doesn't really ring that's true a, as like a North Americanism. It's more of an Eastern, uh, <laughs> He's like, East Asian uh, yeah. eroticism, like an aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah. It's like the cherry blossom. I like to, uh, you know, fruit your cherry blossoms. It's like what? John like Woo's a notorious peach sucker. Yeah, it's like, okay. <laughs> He likes to get to the pit. He likes you know, to get I think Georgia, the there's some Georgia tourism people paying off John Woo. <laughs> Peach State. They're in on it. Yeah. The following may contain harsh language, poorly communicated ideas, and does not reflect the opinions of iHeartRadio. Hello everyone and welcome to week 26 of our 52 week review of Face Off 1997. Uh, this week is a focus on the daughter character of Dom, 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 Dominique Swain. Swain. <sighs> this is going to be a long episode. So Swain. No one actually knows. Swain. 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 Chris, what is this week exactly? What does that have to do with Dominique Swain? And what are you trying to say? Oh, right. <clears throat> yes, of course. So this is week 26 of our 52 week review on Face Off 1997. Uh, this week we are putting the spotlight on Da. Oh, man. Dominic Swain. Dominic Swain. Dominic is. Swain is the name of the. Fuck. <laughs> It was so close. Almost got through an introduction there. It was so close. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what, Sean? I don't make a big fuss when you screw up. Actually, yes, I do. All right. We good? No. Okay. Let's continue. Where were you? Um, we of course remember Dominic Swain from 2177, the San Francisco Love Hacker Crimes. Uh what? probably why Wait, she's been in what? the news. Oh okay. <laughs> sorry. What is well, okay, San Francisco. You know what San Francisco is. I'm aware, yes. Yeah, love. You know what love is? Yeah. And you know what hacker crimes. <laughs> and hacker crimes, all in the future. So this yeah, is where you know Dominique Swain from? I think when everyone does. I don't think anyone's heard of this When movie when did this movie year. come out, Chris? What year did it? 2019. Pre COVID. So it just came out like two years ago. Yeah. But is it better than Face Off? I mean, if I knew of it before we decided on Face Off, I probably would have said, you know, hey, let's review 2177, the San Francisco Love Hacker Crimes every week. <laughs> wow. Okay. What's yeah. it about? Can you give me like a quick rundown? Uh, you know, know, you have these love hackers in San Francisco, it's it's sick, but movie? also full of love. Yeah. This 2177 actually has like a nine rating on IMDb. Huh. <laughs> what? What's face off at? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's got a 1.5. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tyler. It has a 1.5. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so um, let's take a look in Sean's corner of sadness. Uh, let's discuss Dominique Swain's career, uh, Sean. Now, did it begin and end with face off? <laughs> uh, in a sad <laughs> yes sort of no. way, it kind of did. But 1997 it, was a big year for Dominic Swain. Yeah, let's just say that. Like that, that that's definitely true. Um, it definitely didn't end for her in 1997. It's carried on actually ever since. And as you just pointed out, up to quite recently, she's starring in movies. Sometimes at like five or six movies a year, great. Um, lately, in terms of these independent horror movies she's starring in that look all classics. Oh no, they look they look terrible. But um, <laughs> you know, I'm I looking. Mean, She's working. I'll give her that. I will. You know that uh, in 2001, Sean, at the age of 20, Swain, uh, she posed nude for Pita's "I'd Rather Go Naked" and wear fur. I, I did. I was going to build up to that, but yeah, that that is part of her 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 career trajectory. Her legacy. Uh, yeah, she was also starred in a little movie called Lolita, which was. Uh, controversial for a lot of reasons was the main controversy that someone had the audacity to remake a Kubrick movie or was it more <laughs> <laughs> that? should be uh, that yeah. probably should be I mean the filmmaker behind this one was uh Adrian Adrian Lynn I mean he's actually he's got a pretty decent filmography like uh Jacob Slatter Lolita maybe not everyone's favorite version she did win however best kiss 
Jeremy Irons. She was not awkward. Before, sorry. She also apparently just lost out to the part of uh, Claudia as the part of Claudia in Interview with the Vampire to uh, Kirsten Dunst when uh, she took that role. This is history, folks. Yeah, I mean, it might have been because, like I said, like after Face Off, uh, Dominique Swain was kind of done with big time Hollywood roles. Then <laughs> uh, around um, 2006, she starred in the film Alpha Dog with Justin Timberlake and Emile Hirsch and Anton Elchin. Kind of big. Yeah, and that was literally her last big film uh, that she's made to this point in her career. Uh, since then, it's all been these independent, low-budget sci-fi, sometimes faith-based movies. like Nazis they, at the Center of the Earth. She yeah, played they, Dr. Paige Morgan. They feature titles like <laughs> that, or Fall, or Fall Down Dead, Stiletto, Trance. So I guess she has a kind of the aura of, of kind of intellectual. Yeah, I think we can pretty firmly establish that uh, Dominique Swain peaked in 1997. <laughs> with, uh, face off and uh, her biggest role was probably Lolita just because of the controversy it stirred up and has continued to stir up to this day she was playing all of her cards right though I think we can all agree um, because you know she's just getting her foot in the door with uh, face off and kind of like a, you know let's get her seen let's get her out there she's all part of this plan um, and then maybe people got scared off after Lolita and she they had to abort this kind of you know, first we'll get you in a blockbuster movie, but we won't have you the star. And then, I don't know, is it like a bad agent that she had or is it just bad luck? I don't know, I mean, it's kept her working. So I guess that says something. I think, well, yeah, she definitely has kept working. But like I said, or I think I kind of mentioned before we started recording, uh, Adrian Lin as a filmmaker has not worked much since Lolita. And, and the people involved with that movie, other than Jeremy Irons, have not appeared to do done much since that film came out. Uh, people did not enjoy that film. Do you know how old she was like when she did Face Off? She was like 16 or 17, I think. She was 17 years old. Yeah. She was like, well, normally like in these movies, right? You have like 35 year old people playing like 17 year olds. <laughs> No, she was legitimately the age she was playing. I mean, yeah. even in Lolita, she was like, like I said, she was like 15 when she filmed she was that 15. role. 15, that's kind and, of crazy. And uh, she was actually playing like, a, I think Lolita's supposed to be like 12 or something. I think they aged her up to like 14 in the movie. But uh, I think in the book- Still she very, like, you know what? Uh, it's just like, it's, it's, yeah. no bueno. Let's talk about her face-off role a little bit, just because this is a face-off podcast. What did you guys think about how uh, she did in that film? Did you enjoy her performance? Tyler, why don't you go first? She does an adequate job. I mean, it's hard to be like the standout when you're up against Nick Cage yeah. and Travolta acting their faces, literally acting their faces off. <laughs> um, but she's believable okay. in the role. She's a little uncomfortable in the role she's supposed to be. Well, in she's complicated, way. Tyler. She's she's complex. She's part of the MTV she's generation. Much better than the little boy who gets his face touched and abducted at the end of the movie. <laughs> She I would have to say, they should have made a sequel just strictly focusing on the psychological problems that she faces throughout the rest of her life after <laughs> after the going on of Face Off. Unbelievable. I think that's what 2177 is about, actually. <laughs> or perhaps Face Off 2. We'll see. She's uh, she's still acting, clearly, so she could. Ooh. Hey, she could act in it. She you know what? I, I, uh, let's see the Dominic Swan cut. Swain. Swain. <laughs> Swain. Do you think she'll get the call? Do you think she'll be making an appearance in Face Off 2? Uh, I think that if like Travolta and Cage are back... Oh, you know be great? Is if I she's the mother. I if she showed up in some way, shape, or form. She's like the mother now. <laughs> um, yeah, so Chris, did you... Uh, you were mentioning um, before we started recording about like you you knew somebody who knew somebody who might have known her. Like, Did they ever get back to you about, uh, about a potential... Tet -le -tet, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I guess uh, uh, I left it to you, Sean, your discretion um, to leave this towards the end of the episode. But yes, uh, we do have a special surprise for all of our Patreon and Patreon Plus supporters. Um, we're talking about Silver Chair membership as well as Gold Chair and uh, Diamond Premium Package uh, as well as Uroni uh, Uranium 13, uh, Plutonium 12 and diamond 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 plus we really so need to if make you that are part of that less complicated all complicated. we need is one person and then we'll be millionaires so be. there you go paid. that's how exclusive this club is guys so uh all your losers <laughs> just turn it off now if you're not okay, paying. bye everyone just say bye and then we'll just keep going bye honor, honor, honor system, system here yeah. yeah honor system guys honor. all right so three two one okay the following is for paid subscription people only and if you are stealing from me or my family 
I don't know. I, I'll find out, hopefully, but and, and sue you. Um, Very intimidating. God, he's frightening. I do have Dominique Swain on the phone. What? Have you kept like, her on hold this whole time? For yeah, like wait, what? Um, I do need <laughs> Longer than someone. That, just... Tyler, Tyler, can I have you pretend to be my secretary just for a second? So okay. I'm going to pass her off to you, okay? Yeah. And then you just pa- you tell her to hold, and then you pass her to me. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unhold her, and then Tyler, that's your turn to put her on hold. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Dominic, hi. Um, I almost have him. I just need to put you on hold. Uh, one second, please. Uh, hey, Miss Swan. This is Jacob at Take Two Plus. I'm putting you back on hold. Uh, Chris will be with you momentarily, but just sit tight. No, no more than 20 minutes. Beep. Dominic Swain. Hello. Dominic. How are you, doll? I'm good. Dominic, we uh, won't keep you any longer than we have to, but uh, we do have a few questions. Sean, do you have your questions all ready to go? Oh, you didn't even tell me this was happening. No. I, oh, for God's sake. All right. Sakes. All right. I, got, I mean, I'll come up with questions. Jesus. All right. Fuck. All right. Dominic. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to just give you off to Sean now, and uh, he's just going to uh, give you the questions. Uh, but then um, don't forget that thing that we have going on. Later. Okay, bye. Hi, Dominique. This is Sean. How are you doing? Uh, yes. You, okay. Um, so, Dominique, I just was, you know, for this episode, I did a little research. I was looking into your past a little bit. Just had a few questions for you. Is that okay? Yes. All right, that's great. Um, so, Dominic, I, I was just wondering, is it true that uh, you almost beat out Kirsten Dunst for the role in Interview with a Vampire? Is that is that is that factual? Yes. How was uh, filming the experience of Lolita? Like, did that uh, was, was that a good experience for you? Yes. It was a remarkable performance, I thought. But yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to? Do you not want to talk about Alita? Is that the, is that the problem? Is that a is that a touchy issue for you? Yes. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. I didn't mention that off the top. I apologize. I, I would have stayed clear to it if I had known. Uh, well, how about Face Off? Do you do you remember that as like a, a good experience for you as well? Was that a happy time in your life? Yes. I, uh, ask about 2077, Sean. Ask about 2077. Another riveting interview. Thank you so much, Sean. And thank you so much, Dominic. And don't forget, Dominic, that I will be talking to you very shortly after this interview. I'm sorry about all that stuff. All right. So, um, fellas, what do you think the people of the world want to hear about Dominic Swine, Swine that they don't know already? She Wait. lives in Malibu, by the way. Did you just call her Swine? All right, guys. I am too busy to talk about this. I can't wait to see Dominic Swain <sighs> and Dr. Paige Morgan and not at the center of the earth. Do you feel like we we did Dominic Swain justice in this episode? Does this feel fair? 100%. Oh, that's not fair, but possibly true. Nah, well, neither is life, and no one can tell you that about that more than Dominic Swain. Uh, thank you for listening uh, this week uh, to week 26. This is the halfway mark, and... Um, we have reached rock bottom, so we can only dig our way out now. But uh, Tyler, do you have any exciting words for the people? Yes. <laughs> All right, see you next week. Bye.